Another type of assignment that you'll see are called projects and I love projects because it's really the test of whether you've actually learned how to complete a particular task or not. Um, we're not going to start you off with projects. If you're completing a project, that means you've already gone through a SIMBook lesson about that. You've had a chance to learn, and now we're talking about actually applying what we've learned. Um, so let me grab one of these projects here. Uh, I'm just going to go with uh, the Chapter 3 Skill Review. And when we get into the project view, there's three main steps. The first is to download the file um, and a set of instructions. So we're working in the live program here. We're not in the simulation anymore. And it now becomes very important that we have the correct version of Office and that our computers are set up so that we can actually run a PC version of Office here. So there are uh, some instructions. There's a starting file. So that's the first step, is to get all the files downloaded that are associated with that particular project. So let's download the files here. And it starts off right away opening me up with my starting file. So here we go. Um, at this point, I do want to make sure that I save this file. And um, you can leave the name. The name of the file is great because it's got your name in it, so you know that it's yours and you know that what it's covering. Uh, if you want to rename that, I would definitely keep your name in it, but you also add an assignment number um, so that you can keep track of, of which uh, assignment this is. So jumping back, now I can download the instruction file. So that's going to open up for me as well. So I can open that. And skill review 3.1, it's going to tell me the concepts that are being covered. And then it's going to also have um, all of the steps that I need to complete this particular assignment. We also have uh, the solution file available. So if I open this up, it's just going to show me a sample. So it's a PDF, and so I can compare this with what I've done and make sure that all my numbers came out correct. Um, there is also a best practices file that comes up here. Again, this is optional, but it walks you through basically what I'm walking you through now, telling you how to download these files and how to uh, upload them as well. And I'll close that. So now I go back to my Excel spreadsheet that I just opened and I go back to that instruction document and I go through all of the instructions and make sure that I save my work. If you forget to save your work and it comes time to upload it back in and you can't find it, sometimes there's nothing else to be done but to redo the assignment. So make sure that you save it. Make sure that you back that up have a, a location where all of your assignments are going to go so that you don't have to wonder where your file is when you're all finished. So my next step is going to be to upload my work. So I'm going to click on Upload and Save and I'll navigate to where that particular file is. So I'm on Excel Chapter 3 and we're doing the uh, skill review here. Okay, so it's going to upload the file. I say, yes, I am ready to submit. It's going to come up with my results. So this is grading this for me right now. I don't have to wait for feedback for an instructor. And here we go. So here's my score. I got an 84% on this. And it also gives me feedback on how I did. So over here on the left, number 13, I received half a point out of one point, so I did lose some credit there. And I can open that up and I can see, okay, what did I do wrong? And in this case, I just didn't follow the directions clearly and I, I capitalized the yes and the no in my formula versus leaving it lowercase as I was asked to do. I can open up uh, number 20 and I can take a look at the feedback here. So it says, you know, the, the named range client rates does not have the correct reference here. So I can come in and make changes now. So I'm going to open up my original file that I was working on, the one that I just submitted. I'm going to make corrections there. I'm going to fix everything that was a mistake and I'm going to upload it back in again. I'm going to keep doing this process of looking at my feedback, making corrections, and uploading the file until I'm happy with my score. So you can do this as many times as you want. So these grades should be pretty good by the time you get 
finished because you'll have a chance to correct your mistakes versus just taking the grade that you get the first go round. I do want to say one more thing about projects. These are very sensitive uh, as far as academic honesty is concerned. So if you submit a project that originated from someone else's account or that takes material from someone else's file, this is going to catch that. So just be careful. Make sure that when you are submitting your file, make sure that is the file that you did, that you completed 100% on your own. It is very easy for us as instructors to see when someone has turned in another student's work. So please do not test that system to see whether it's really going to catch you or not. It's just not worth it. Um, I know we all get stressed sometimes and it becomes a temptation uh, to use you know, whether it be files on the internet or, uh, you know, your roommate or your spouse who happens to also be taking the class, just please just step away from that thought and I would rather see you get a zero on an assignment than turn in somebody else's work and, and face the academic consequences for that. So just a little note there, we're going to catch it if you try to submit somebody else's, so please just maintain your integrity in that way.